It's that time of year, my friends, when I walk around my favorite grocery stores and show you the top 10 things to buy for the new year. Well, welcome to Walmart. We're going to do what we always do on this channel. Walk around and show you the top 10 things to buy at Walmart for you and your family. And when I mean top 10, I mean let's read the ingredients and analyze. Are they good or bad for you? Why? So you put the best quality stuff in your body. So less talking, more shopping. Let's go. There's a lot of beef options at Walmart, but always come down to the natural section here. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Their grass-fed beef selection and American lamb is fantastic. This is what you want to go for right here. The grass-fed ground beef. Now, initially, I'm like, wait a second. It doesn't say 100% grass-fed or grass-fed, grass-finished. But in the smallest wording ever here, it does say grass-fed and grass-finished, which means the cow doesn't have grain. Walmart is one of the few places that has 80-20 ground beef, meaning 80% beef to 20% fat. I like that because fat is flavor. I like saving money too because $5.76 a pound is about the cheapest you're going to get per pound for grass-fed beef. And if we do a price comparison, this is the regular meat here. This is 80-20 ground chuck here. It's $4.97 a pound, so 80 cents cheaper per pound. But keep in mind, this kind of beef is factory farmed cattle beef that eat GMO corn and soy. This kind of beef is pasture raised, grass fed, grass finished beef. There's no need to pay up and get the organic one because organic is a certification that you pay extra for. And because of that, it's a little more expensive. But when the cows are already eating grass fed, um, diets start to finish, you don't need organic. And sometimes you'll see a reduction because it's getting close to the best buy date. If you see that on grass fed, winning. Walmart Supercenters have a fantastic cooking fat aisle, especially extra virgin olive oil. And I've made many videos in the past telling you that 80 some odd percent of extra virgin olive oils in the grocery store are fake. And like Elaine and Seinfeld, which is fake, 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 there are real ones here, but I just want to do a quick Refresher, always look at where your olives come from because most will have this key on the back that show multiple countries. And if you look at this one, it's made with olives from three different countries, Spain, Greece, and Tunisia. When you start having that, you lose traceability and the odds of having fake EVOO go up. I want single origin, but I don't want to overpay for it. And super centers have this from California, knows how to party, Cobra Estate, big bottle, single origin, very tasty olive oil, $14.98. How about this? Partana extra virgin organic oil from Sicily, Italy. The same ones they used to make the uh, oleados at Starbucks, which during that review video, I said they use a really good extra virgin. This is just from Sicily, a great price too. So when you cook at home, only use extra virgin olive oil, not olive oil, and look for single or, or, uh, origin. When you see something like Global Blend and you see it's from Argentina, Portugal, Chile, California, you don't want those mixes. So good extra virgin olive oils, great avocado oil from Chosen Food, great Walmart brand extra virgin coconut oil, all of the good anti-inflammatory, polyphenol, antioxidant rich oils are here at Walmart for great prices. This, my friends, is the Great Wall of Bread. I've never seen a more expansive bread section that continues here into bagels and everything, but they do have one of the best Bobby approved breads, and it's right behind me, Dave's. But the kind of Dave's you choose is very important because I see a lot of people reaching for like the original one, the organic 21 whole grains and seeds. And when I'm looking for a bread, or when I eat bread, it's keto bread. And I like this one called Base Culture in the frozen section of Whole Foods. It's pricey, but it's really good. The thing is, while I love organic wheat, because wheat, in my opinion, should be organic, otherwise it could have glyphosate issues. And I love whole grains and seeds like this. There's cane sugar in here. Now, a little bit of cane sugar and a slice of bread is very normal, but what if I told you one slice of bread has five grams of added cane sugar, which is a teaspoon and a quarter, and you use two slices of bread to make your sandwich? Well, all of a sudden you have 10 grams of, tea, of sugar, which is two and a half teaspoons of cane sugar. So I oftentimes tell people, put that back, but Walmart has the Bobby approved version. One gram of added sugar, power seed bread but that cane sugar is uh sugar is not cane sugar it's actually organic fruit juice concentrate which is much preferable to sugar because not all sugars are created equally fruit juice concentrate is a better for you swap than cane sugar and it still has all the organic whole wheat 
nuts and seeds with only one gram of added sugar in the form of fruit juice concentrate for $5.98, the same price. That's the Bobby approved one. Buying salad dressing is super confusing. And actually, Leilani was just saying that for the new year, we should do a salad dressing series. If you want to see that, raise your hand. We'll make some videos. And I did notice that 2023 it was the year of seed oils and many creators or influencers preaching the gospel of why seed oils are bad. And the problem is 98% of all salad dressings are made with good olive oil, good avocado oil. Hell no, that costs money. They want profits over people, man. They're always made with canola oil and they always have added sugars in there too. This looks like a really healthy bottle here. It's a strawberry, but it has nine grams of added cane sugar, which is over two teaspoons per serving which is why you should make your own at home. But if you wanna buy one, you can find Primal Kitchen in most all Walmarts now. And the price is great. These exact bottles at most grocery stores like Whole Foods where I was yesterday is about $8. This ranch is yum O for $5.88. Ranch that's made with avocado oil instead of canola oil. And then organic eggs and best in class ingredients, no added sugar, no BS preservatives, all of these are fantastic. The Buffalo Ranch is really yummy too. But like I said, homemade dressings are the way to go. So maybe we'll make Rose's famous honey, um, honey mustard dressing. We'll make my dairy-free ranch wedge salad. Sounds like a plan. I've said it many times, but I don't buy any supplements from the grocery store, especially something like a probiotic. If I reach into the Bobby Approved tote bag, the probiotic I take is seed. And it's the new year. Maybe you ate a lot of foods this holiday season and you want a gut reset. Seed probiotic is the best in the market. I've been using it for years, both for adults or for kids. And the truth is most probiotics don't work. When you start to learn what happens, the bacteria, the living bacteria usually die in your tummy acids. And then you have to ask yourself, self, what kind of bacteria are in there in the first place? Well, seed survives your tummy acid to make it to your colon, but it has 24 strains of custom bacteria that really work for poop, digestion, immune and skin health the adults one or the kids one works really well. So if you're in the market for a new probiotic or you already take one and want to swap over, click my link down below. You get 25% off your first month supply and free shipping. Seed is bee's knees when it comes to a probiotic. Desi does a lot of paleo baking at home and we use a lot of almond flour. Now, full disclosure, I buy the big bag at Costco, but if you're not a Costco member, this is one of your best prices. This is almond flour, meaning they take the almonds, they blanch them, remove the skins and turn it into flour. Fun fact, the Flav City plant-based protein powder is launching January 3rd, and we use almond protein, which is made very similar. And because you get rid of the skins and you soak them or blanch them, it has no lectins. And this is 588 for a one pound bag. Not quite as good as Costco, but very good. What do you do for sweeteners? Because they have a lot of sugars here. I've made a million videos about plain sugar. You wanna avoid bleached white sugar. And I love this. Coconut sugar is made from the flower of the coconut blossom. It's the nectar, it's a paleo sweetener. It's slightly lower on the glycemic index, but while sugar is just sweet, this is like nutty and floral and delicious. So if you wanna stir this into your coffee instead of sugar, you're doing your body a big, big service. But let's say you're diabetic or you're keto, then you have options like monk fruit sweetener, but monk fruit sweetener is a combination of monk fruit and erythritol. Some people get gastrointestinal issues from erythritol, which is why Stevia is a great option for your coffee, but man, can shopping get any more confusing because you pick up Stevia in the raw thinking it's just Stevia, right? Well, if you were to scan it with your Bobby approved app, it would not be approved. Why? The first ingredient is dextrose, then Stevia. Dextrose is another word for sugar. And because it's only one gram per serving, it says the included sugars are less than one gram. Well, of course it is. They're fudging the financial numbers here. There's a little bit of sugar and then Stevia. The best thing to do for Stevia is something like this. This is pure and the ingredients are just Stevia with a touch of alcohol. I know Whole Foods has it, Trader Joe's. You put a drop, literally a drop, maybe two in your coffee, you're good to go. And remember, when you're in doubt at the grocery store, just bust out my free app, Bobby Approved. Search on the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store. You can scan any barcode in any grocery store. It tells you if it's good or bad, highlights the bad ingredients and gives you a better alternative. It's like having me go shopping with you. Do yourself a favor and wander over to the gluten-free section. There's normally a sign right here. Two 
epic Bobby approved items. First of all, this is one of the, the same pastas I have in my pantry right now, Jovial. Because when I talk about carbohydrates, I always say make them count, meaning have complex carbohydrate pasta, not ones made from wheat flour. Well, what is this made from? Brown rice flour, a complex carbohydrate that has more fiber, more digestible, very good stuff. But my favorite one is actually this. This is a egg tagliatelle pasta. Organic eggs and brown rice, you boil these little nests. They have almost a, like a fresh pasta texture. You toss it with a nice ragu, it's beautiful. So really good gluten-free pasta. And you're not gonna find many Bobby approved pancake mixes, but this one from Simple Mills is spot on, my friends. It's almond flour based, so it's gluten-free. With a little bit of coconut sugar, reinforced with coconut flour, that's it. These are delicious. It's 7.58, so in the gluten-free section. Pasta for dinner, pancakes for brekkie. This to me is super exciting because this is like taco burrito enchilada row here. This is my favorite enchilada sauce on the market. It's the Siete brand. Why? Well, first of all, it tastes amazing. But most enchilada sauce, you can grab anyone like Old El Paso here. Yes, it has tomatoes and seasoning, but it also has sugar, GMO cornstarch to thicken it, soybean oil, hydrolyzed corn protein. This red enchilada sauce here has amazing ingredients like, yes, tomatoes, but avocados, oil, dates, garlic powder, onion powder, mushroom powder, and oregano. Really nice. What I do is I dump some of this into my Instant Pot with a little bit of water and then uh, pork shoulder or boneless, skinless chicken thighs. It makes the best pulled meat ever. If you don't want to make your own taco seasoning mix, you can get the Siete. Siete should pay me a commission for this section of the video here because most taco seasoning mixes are all filler and no thriller. And what's the first ingredient in Taco Bell's one? Wheat flour followed by salt, two of the cheapest ingredients ever. And then a little seasoning, sugar, and at the very bottom, soybean oil. Siete's real spices, a touch of sweetness from ground dates. Very, very lovely. And if you want to mix up your taco shells, Try grain-free, meaning no corn, paleo shells with best-in-class ingredients, avocado oil. I use all these uh, stuff at home. Really great prices here at uh, Walmart. I love a good hot dog every once in a while, and I love the fact that this is accessible to everyone. Most grocery stores have it, but if you haven't seen it, it's Applegate Natural Beef Hot Dog, but it's not just natural. It's one of the few hot dogs that are made with 100% grass-fed beef. More importantly, when you look at the other ingredients, you're not gonna see mystery ingredients and preservatives and stuff. It really is just beef with seasoning and that's it. It's $5.97 for a packet. Once again, if you want, you can pay an extra dollar for the organic, but there's no need to do that when it's already 100% grass-fed, grass-finished. $5.97 for best in class versus something like this, which is $4.97. Yes, it's a dollar cheaper, but the beef made for this is GMO, meaning it's factory farm GMO beef. But more importantly, there's hydrolyzed corn protein, natural flavoring, sodium phosphates, and something called sodium erythrobate, which is a preservative that oftentimes makes the hot dog pink. So for a dollar more, you can get truly best in class hot dogs. You grill them up, you put them on a nice little bun, good to go. All right, friends, that is it for the top 10 things to buy at Walmart in 2024. Raise your hand if you've been watching these top 10 of the new year for many, many years, because if you did, many of the ingredients and products we showed, you know well, but it's always good for a reinforcer. Uh, but that is it. We'll have another what to buy at my favorite store coming up tomorrow and the following week. But from Walmart, a freezing Walmart, by the way, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love. Happy New Year and peace.